Before creating a new product in FMB, it's worth checking to make sure that product doesn't already exist. To search for it, click on master product list, and then you've got in the product name area, you can type in a few letters from that product name and enter. We can see that the product that I wish to create, Madeira, is not as part of this list. To create the product, I can expand Master Product List and click on Add New Product. When I click on Add New Product, a box will pop up that allows me to fill in the details of the product that I wish to create. It's worth noting that anything in FMB with this maroon colour means that that information is mandatory for this item to exist. Fill in the product name. Then fill in the unit size. It's worth noting that the unit size will actually be the stock count size. The VAT you will be able to get from your invoices and then you just choose the category that you wish to account this item against. The origin, if you wish to fill it in, will be which country this product came from. The master product code is an internal code in FNB. The bin number is usually used for wines and is how to count this product. And the yield, we, we advise you to keep it 100%. Adjustment items tend to only apply for invoice adjustment items. And then you need to choose a supplier. So choose your supplier. And it is advisable to put the supplier product code, which is, in fact, on your invoice. The purchase order quantity is usually dictated to by the supplier, and they may insist that you purchase a certain quantity to get a certain deal. The purchase order cost price is in relation to the purchase order quantity. The cost price per individual unit is in relation to the unit size. Baker's dozen means any special deals where multiples of the purchase order quantity will get you free quantities of the unit size. So for example, multiples of 12 times 1 times 75 CL can get me free quantities of 2 times 1 times 75 CL. Using an alternative issuing unit will allow you to count or transfer this product in a different measurement. For example, I may also need to move this product in cases of 12 times 75 CL to another location. If you are happy with everything in here, you can then click step two, and this page allows you to ensure that everything is correct before moving on. If you are happy at this point, you can click finish. The system will ask you, are you sure you want to add this new product? This may take a few moments. Please do not click on the finish link again while the system is processing. Click OK. And the master product has been created. You also have the options here to click here to create another master product. Click here to close the window. Create a menu item and assign to site with PLUs. Add the product to size or copy the product. You will also be given a list of the last 10 products created and by which person. And I'm going to close the box and show you that when I go back to master product list, you will see that my product, Madeira, is now part of the list. And that is how to create a new product.